What's up guys, Sam here, welcome to Tech Today TV. A flagship smartphone is not something that everyone needs, desires, or can afford. The success of Samsung's intermediate A-series makes this obvious. The next A-series phone, the A54 this year, is anticipated with almost as much fervor as the Galaxy S23 family's bells and whistles, which usually make headlines. Official announcements for the A-series often occur at a separate unpacked event in March or April, a bit later than those for the S-series. Here is all we currently know about Samsung's next budget phone, while we wait to see if that is the case in 2023. There is no official release date for the Galaxy A54 just yet, but going from previous launches, we are expecting we'll hear about it in the next couple of months. We had thought it might be launching earlier this year due to Samsung teasing the launch of an A-series phone on 18 January but it turned out to be the entry-level A14 instead. Last year's Galaxy A53 was launched in March 2022, and the Galaxy A52 was announced a year previously, in March 2021. The only exception to this in the past few years was the Galaxy A51, which was announced in April 2020, and the A52's, an iterative release that launched in August 2021 with an improved predecessor. As for price, the A-series has followed a pretty strong pattern of coming in under $500 in the past couple of years, so we'd expect a similar price this time round. As a reminder, last year's A53 launched at $449, and the A52 launched at $499. If leaked renders are anything to go by, Samsung's replacement for the Galaxy A53 looks likely to be very similar in design to its predecessor, with just a few subtle tweaks. The most clear difference is the three-camera array, which now sits directly on the back panel of the phone, rather than on a molded raised section, very much like the new S23 and S23 Plus. There's a single flash like before, but the depth sensor appears to have gone, with that functionality likely taken on by the main camera. As usual, physical buttons look to be kept to a minimum, with just volume and power on the right-hand side. Instead, rumors suggest the in-screen fingerprint scanner from the A53 will return this time round too. We found it to be reliable, if a little slow, so it'll be interesting to see if this has been improved at all. In terms of finish, the renders suggest we can expect it to be the same as we're used to from the A-series so it'll be a plastic body with matte feel on the back and Gorilla Glass on the front. Other leaked renders suggest there could be some pretty funky colors too, though like purple and a neon greeny yellow, that run alongside the standard black and white. Considering Samsung pushed the boat out on the color choices for the S23 family, this doesn't feel like a stretch. Rumors suggest the Galaxy A54 will have a slightly smaller AMOLED display than the A53 did, at 6.4 inches down from 6.5 inches last year. It's still expected to be an FHD plus resolution with a 120Hz refresh rate though, with an overall size predicted to be 158.3x76.7x8.2 mm. On the inside, a battery of around 4,905 mAh is tipped with 25W wireless charging, alongside a choice of 128GB or 256GB of storage and 6GB or 8GB RAM to allow for pricing variations. That's an improvement on the 4860 mAh battery in the A53, but what that means in real terms remains to be seen. Early rumors suggested processing would be handled by an Exynos 7904 chip, but more recently, it's been suggested that Samsung's Exynos 1380 will be in charge, and this would also make sense, considering the Exynos 1280 was at the heart of the Galaxy A53 5G. From the renders we mention above, it looks like we can expect a three-camera setup on the A53, with the depth sensor retired, and its functionality handed over to the main snapper. That main camera is reported to be a 50-megapixel lens with OIS, alongside a 12-megapixel cam for ultra-wide shots, and a 5-megapixel macro lens. Up front, there is a 32-megapixel selfie cam with a hole-punch design, meaning no unsightly notch taking up real estate on your display. Share your thoughts and comments below. I hope you found our content interesting, and if you did, please like and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.